It should be nice, big and deep. This will help the marinade to penetrate into the chicken nicely. And now let's begin with the first marinade. To the chicken, I am going to add some salt, red chilli powder, lemon juice, turmeric powder and wrap the chicken nicely with the marinade all over, up and down. Now this first marinade is ready. Set it aside for at least 15 to 20 minutes. This will help in tenderizing the chicken. Meanwhile, in a large bowl, mix together everything given for the second marinade. So first up, I am going to add the hung yogurt with some salt, red chili powder, ginger garlic crust, coriander cumin powder, garam masala, lime juice, chaat masala, dry mango powder, tandoori masala, some crushed dry fenugreek leaves, black pepper, oil, and a very few pinches of red food color. This color is optional, but it gives a nice color to the chicken if your red chili powder is not good enough to give the color to the dish. Now mix everything really well to make a thick marinade out of it. Now to this, I am going to add in the earlier marinated chicken and rub it properly on all the sides so that it is well coated with the marinade inside the slits and outside. Now cover it and leave it to marinate for at least 4 to 6 hours. Or even overnight is better. Once marinated for enough time, now I am going to preheat the oven at 220 degrees Celsius for around 15 minutes. This will ensure the maximum heating of the oven. I'm going to place the chicken pieces on the wire rack with the tray lined below with the foil to catch the excess drippings. Now place it inside the preheated oven and let it bake for around 15 to 20 minutes. Here I've got some leftover marinade to which I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil. Mix it well. And I'm going to brush this marinade on top of the chicken pieces all over. So after 15 minutes, you can remove the tray, apply the marinade and then flip it over onto the other side. And again brush it nicely with the marinade and let it cook in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes or until they are cooked through and get good charred marks on top. You will come to know it's cooked when the juices run clear. You can also check by piercing a knife 